Attention everyone because we're talking about kiwis. These small fuzzy fruits have taken the world by storm. These fuzzy little green things are not only delicious but also full of vitamins and nutrients. You know them, you've probably eaten a few. But have you ever wondered where they come from and how they are grown? But have you ever wondered where they come from, how they get from the branch to your breakfast bowl, how they get from the branch to your breakfast bowl? It's a fascinating journey that we're going to explore today. It's a journey, I can tell you that. A journey that requires much more technology and precision than you might think at first glance. And it's much more high tech than you might think. From harvesting to packaging, every step is carefully planned and optimized. Forget your combine harvesters and your giant tractors. This requires precision engineering, precision that ensures that every kiwi is perfect. These days, it's all about getting the best possible kiwis. And that means using the latest technology every step of the way. And that means using the latest technology every step of the way, from laser scanners to robots that check every fruit meticulously. We're talking lasers, sensors, and machines that could sort a sock drawer in seconds. This technology ensures that only the best kiwis make it to your table. Okay, maybe not the last one, but you know what I mean. The precision and technology behind every kiwi is impressive. So buckle up, because we're diving deep into the world of kiwi production. From orchard to your plate, we're leaving no stone unturned. From orchard to your plate, we're leaving no stone unturned. Every kiwi has a story and we're here to tell it. Growing kiwis is not for the faint of heart. It's an art and a science requiring dedication and knowledge. It's a year-round job that requires dedication, a good pair of rubber boots, and a lot of patience. From preparing the soil to harvesting, every step is crucial. First, you have to prune the vines. This is a crucial step to ensure that the plants stay healthy and grow well. You can't just let them grow however they want, can you? The vines need to be carefully guided and supported. It's like herding cats, but with thorns. Every plant has its own needs and challenges. Then there's the delicate dance of pollination. Without pollination, there's no fruit. Bees are your best friends here, but sometimes you need a helping hand, literally. Workers often have to step in to make sure every flower is pollinated. The workers in the orchards pollinate the flowers by hand to ensure there are plenty of baby kiwis. This is a tedious but necessary task. Thinning is another big job. It's important to control the number of fruits to ensure quality. Too many kiwis on a vine, and they'll grow to be the size of grapes. Nobody wants that. Not ideal, unless you're making kiwi raisins, but that's not the goal. And let's not forget about pests and diseases. These can ruin an entire crop if you're not careful. You have to watch out for those pesky critters that have kiwi on their menu. Regular inspections are essential. It's a constant battle, but someone has to do it. The reward is worth it when you finally harvest those sweet, juicy kiwis. Now for the main event the harvest, the highlight of the season. Traditionally, it's a manual process done with lots of love and care. Teams of workers armed with shears and determination carefully pluck each kiwi from the vine. It's back-breaking work, but somebody's got to do it, day in and day out. But times are changing and fast. The march of technology waits for no fruit, not even the mighty kiwi. And this is where the robots come in. Well, not robots exactly, more like really clever machines that help us out rise of the machines the kiwi harvester welcome to the world of modern farming where technology and nature come together in fascinating ways here comes the kiwi harvester a marvel of modern engineering this machine is specifically designed to revolutionize the kiwi harvest this thing is a real game changer it's changing the way we harvest kiwis bringing efficiency and precision to the process imagine a tractor but instead of wheels it has these giant rotating brushes these brushes are the heart of the machine. These brushes gently coax the kiwis off the vines, like a tender caress from a giant fruit-loving teddy bear. They're designed not to damage the fruit. The kiwis then fall onto a conveyor belt and are carried into the waiting arms of the sorting machine. This machine sorts the fruits by size and quality. It's a beautiful sight, I can tell you. The combination of technology and nature is simply breathtaking, and it's much faster and more efficient than doing it by hand. The machine can harvest as many kiwis in an hour as a person can in an entire day. 
Of course, there are still a few teething problems. Like with any new technology, there are challenges to overcome. These machines are still in their early stages and can't quite match the delicacy of a human hand. But the engineers are working hard to solve these issues. But give them time, give them time. With each new version, the machines are getting better and more efficient. The future of kiwi harvesting is looking very automated. We're just at the beginning of a new era in agriculture. Shining achievement. This is how the kiwis get squeaky clean. Once the kiwis are harvested, it's time for a little spa day. Well, not exactly a spa, more like a high-tech car wash for fruit. First, they get soaked in a bath of bubbly water. This helps loosen any dirt or debris that might be clinging to their fuzzy little coats. Then it's onto the rotating brushes for a gentle scrub. No harsh chemicals here, just good old elbow grease, or should we say kiwi grease? Finally, the kiwis are thoroughly rinsed and dried with a gentle blast of air. Squeaky, clean and ready for the next stage of their journey, they emerge, sorting and grading. Size matters. Sorting and grading for perfection. Sorting and grading for perfection. Not all kiwis are created equal. Some are bigger, some are smaller. Some are perfectly round, others are a bit more characterful. But when it comes to selling kiwis, uniformity is key. And that's where the sorting and grading machines come in. These days, it's all done with lasers and cameras. The kiwis are scanned from every angle and their size, shape, weight and even their color are analyzed in milliseconds. It's like something out of a science fiction movie. Kiwis that don't meet the strict standards are rejected and processed into juice or other delicious kiwi products. The chosen ones, on the other hand, are packed and shipped all over the world. From fruit to factory, the magic of kiwi processing. Now, for the kiwis that don't make it to the fresh fruit market, fear not, they haven't reached the end of the line. Oh no. They're just getting started. These kiwis are destined for bigger and better things. They're off to the factory to be transformed into a whole range of delicious kiwi products. We're talking juice, jam, dried kiwis, kiwi powder, you name it. If you can do it with a kiwi, it's being done somewhere. These factories are like something out of Willy Wonka's chocolate factory, only with less chocolate and more kiwi. Giant machines peel, slice, press and puree the kiwis until they submit. A mesmerizing and slightly terrifying sight.